part of assessing students requires you to assign assignments. This video will discuss how to create an assignment in Canvas. To begin, I'm in my home screen and I will go to the Assignments button. Notice in the left-hand navigation menu, Assignments is grayed out. That's because currently there are no assignments available, so this would not be viewable to students. If I click on Assignments, I can see that I have a option in my right-hand edit bar to add an assignment or add an assignment group. First, I'm going to set my assignment groups. I click here and I can add a group name. I'm going to add discussions as a type of assignment. I click update and now I have two types of dis um, assignments, discussions and assignments. If I want to add a third group, I could add quizzes and I could also add exams. If I'd like to, these to appear in a different order, I can merely grab them and rearrange. Once I'm happy with my assignment groups, I can choose to then add an assignment to said group. So I'm going to add an assignment to my assignments. I can fill in the name, the due date, the number of points the assignment will be worth, and then I click update. This is the bare minimum to set up an assignment. Now if a student went into the assignment, it would be blank. So to add your assignment details, you can click on the actual assignment name. And this will take you to a field where you can add the assignment content. Notice in your right hand navigation bar, you can edit the assignment, add a rubric, or at, utilize the speed grader. Here I'm going to add, uh, edit the assignment. I can put my instructions, and details in the text box. Note that I can also include, as I usually can with my text editor, images that I can embed, anything from that public collections file, and I can also choose to record or upload media that I record on the fly using a webcam or microphone, or that I've already pre-recorded and saved on my computer. Additionally, I can link to other areas in the course, files from my filing cabinet in Canvas, and any images, either that I've saved on my computer or that I have in my Creative Commons. Once again, I have the option of changing what type of assignment this would fall into in terms of categories. I can change the name, change the points uh, the assignment is worth, set the due date. Here's a critical feature. Canvas is going to assume that this assignment is going to be handed in in person. So if you're teaching an online class or a class that is going to be hybrid and you want students to turn in work online, you need to change this to online submission. Similarly, if you are expecting them to hand you something in paper in class, you could choose the on paper option. Since this is an online class, I'm going to click online submission. When we choose online submission, we have a number of other options that appear. We can allow students to include files, so they can attach Word documents or other documents. They could only enter text in a text box like this one above. They can add a website, or they can do those media recordings, the same as this media option that we have here, where a student could provide an audio or video recording back to their students. If you're going to update the assignment throughout the course of the semester, you might want to click this box that would notify users that the content has changed. Once you're content with your assignment options, click Update Assignment. Make sure you check one of those boxes or you will get an error message. So here's my updated assignment. And if I click to the Student View by going to Settings and Student View, I can go back to my assignments and see that I can see my grades so far, see my assignments by type, and see that I have paper number one that's going to be due. I can then submit the assignment once I've entered it. And there the student will have all the options that I've given them to submit that assignment. If I leave the student view, 
I'll get an error message if I'm in the middle of assigning something, but otherwise I'll return to my normal instructor view. An important feature of adding um, a, or grading assignments will be the assignment rubric, and that will be talked about during a different module.